welcome to the tip of the week. Today, let's talk about infrared transmission measurements of films. Typically, these are really easy measurements to make because they are commercially available holders. Now these holders, such as, as an example, the magnetic film holder, have a minimum aperture of 10 millimeters. So what do you do when your sample is smaller than 10 millimeters? Well, if it's really small, say just a couple millimeters or less, I'd probably consider using a microscope or a beam condenser. But if the sample is in that middle ground between say three millimeters and 10 millimeters, then let me show you how you can make a holder to accommodate those smaller sample sizes. Now to make our new film holder, we're gonna start with the magnetic pellet in film holder. And also we're going to use a three millimeter die collar that's typically sold with our three millimeter KBR die. But we're gonna repurpose it today. First thing you're gonna do is remove the magnetic cover and then go ahead and place the die collar right in the recess. Now, if I was going to want to permanently make this a three millimeter holder, I'd go ahead and glue that in. Next, we're gonna load our film. And now we can no longer use this magnetic cover because the aperture is too big for our film. So I simply cut out my own using a magnetic sheet. Now we're gonna go ahead and place the new magnetic sheet on. And there you go, your three millimeter aperture film holder. So before I let you go today, let's take a look at a spectrum I collected using my new three millimeter film holder. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.